following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Dave in Clearwater. Hey, Dave, Happy New Year. What's happening, man? <clears throat> happy New Year, too, my brother. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. How you been? I am doing well, man. I'm doing well. Can I throw a quote out in that chat? Sure. <laughs> in the market, somebody knows something. Someone always knows something. That statement was made by a great trader by the name of Tom O'Brien about six, seven years ago. Ago. Oh, yeah. And it kind of hit me like a brick. You're right. Somebody always knows something. Hey, Carlos, what's going on, brother? I'm calling you back, Tom. This morning I had the pleasure to talk to you and your son, and I don't want to miss the opportunity to talk to you again. Why? Well, I think you made some money on this bond. <laughs> oh, yes, Tom. Your newsletter helped me. Oh, that's a beautiful to, uh, thing. We appreciate the growling problem with us out here. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever. You focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Make it a great one. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. Option expiration, we get the Dow Industrials down 85, Nasdaq's off seven, S&Ps are down four and a half, gold contract up $16.40, trading at 12.94 an ounce, silver up 21 cents, 17 dollars 21 cents an ounce. Let's get over and take a look at this gold contract. So Wednesday, this past Wednesday, we go top side, we hit a uh, 12.90. You do it with volume, big volume, on Wednesday. It couldn't hold price. Volume-wise, we had 434,000 contracts. End up closing that day at 1277. We backed down yesterday with 274,000 contracts. Guess what? You're taking out the swing point out here today. You get 362,000 contracts. Uh, bottom line, we're on our way to 1308. More than likely, what you're doing, we're on our way probably to the 1362 level. We're going to take a look at the silver contract. What do we have at silver? Silver also caught a bid. Oil caught a bid. Silver is up 1.2%. You're up 21 cents in the silver market. Silver, uh, let's go to the December contract. We're rolling right now. That's what we're doing, folks. So we have a couple of different contracts we're looking at. Uh, so we take a look at the sil silver contract. And right now, the December contract's up 21 cents. You've done 97,000 contracts. Uh, now, with silver is right next to uh, its swing high out there from October 16th. It's $17.49. We've hit 1738. Silver also wants to make that run up to the September 8th level, which is 1829. And if we do go over to the yen and take a look at the yen, that correlation is pretty direct. Uh, the yen out here fell apart today. Uh, yen goes from a price point of 113 to 112.13. We take a look at that, and what you're going to see, you're going after the lowest swing point, more than likely on Sunday night. We're going to go after that swing point, 111.69. You break that, and guess what? It's in a consolidation. The top of that consolidation was 114.49. The bottom, going right back to September 8th. The correlation is pretty amazing. 107.32. You get 107.32. Uh, in that baby, and that you're going to see gold go topside in a big way. The GDX, what do we have inside the GDX? GDX out here has 23 million shares right now. You have 26 cents. Bottom line, this is good volume. Uh, what you're going to see at the end of the day inside this GDX, that, that's how the, the volume comes in. I expect you're going to see big volume here. We've already done 23 million. You're going after a swing of 28 million. It looks to me, I suspect we're going to do about 28 to 30 million. That'll be taking that swing out. GDX is going to be on the way up to this $23.99. Notes, 10-year note, next. 10-year note, bottom line, folks, these notes and bonds, they just refuse to go down. Uh, you know, the 10-year note right now, we've done 1.1 million contracts. You're at 124.29. Bottom line, that wants to make a run up to this 125.15.
You take a look at the 30 year, the 30 year really has some big juice in it. And the 30 year has been leading the 10 year for quite some time. 30 year out here, we're at 153.27. Uh, your swings up here are like 154.26. 30 year looks to me like it also wants to go to the September 8th. So you can see the correlation. The high in gold is September 8th. The high in bonds is September 8th. The low in yen is September 8th. That's where those babies are heading for. What I expect you're going to see, you're going to see a lot of action uh, Sunday night. NASDAQ Composite. Let's go take a look at the NASDAQ Composite. Well, first, Dow Industrials. Let's take a look at the Dow. So Dow Industrials down 90 bucks. 90 bucks might as well be a flat market right now, folks, because uh, 90 bucks uh, at high numbers like this, uh, we are still at the same place we were going to our, till October 24th. And it, uh, what will happen at the close out here, we're going to get some volume. So the correlation is going to be very subtle, but you're going to have lower prices and you're going to have an expansion of volume. NASDAQ Composite. What do we got with the NASDAQ Composite? NASDAQ Composite right now is trading at a price point. There we go. NASDAQ Composite is trading at uh, 67.85, and that looks like it's going to actually close at the highs for the week. Uh, you know, it's down slightly, but that's uh, bottom line. We reached a higher high. That baby wants to close up into those highs. We go take a look at the NDX. Same type of setup inside the NDX. What you have with the NDX, you're down 20 bucks. But bottom line, put it on a weekly, and guess what? You're at highs. Uh, the high for the last week was 63.46. Your high for this week was 63.52. Right now, you're at 63.18. Oil contract. Let's go take a look at the oil contract. Oil contract also caught a bid, which is really intriguing. Uh, oil contract had 131,000 contracts. You're at 56.58. This baby wants to go for the highs of 57.92. If we put this on a continuous contract and take a look at it, we'll put this on a weekly basis right now on a continuous contract. And this baby looks to me that you're going to actually get up somewhere into the 62 area. Because the 62, 61 to 62, yeah, 62. 62 area, folks, was the swing highs generated out there in May of 2015. You know, we, had, we it took a bit to, to get over the last swing highs of January. Of, we were trading about 12 weeks on a consolidation in January. It pulled back. You went up to that level again. You took it out. And you took it out with volume. We go take a look at the dollar index. Dollar index is going to help the metal market also because what you have with the dollar index, they're selling the baby off. Um, you're at 93,540 right now, and uh, we're down 314 ticks. You have a 16,000 contracts. This is building cause to break below its breakout area of 93,365. And uh, bottom line, the dollar index hasn't been able to, well, this was the first bounce that it had uh, from September 8th, and it was November 17th now, since last April. So what I expect you're going to see is that dollar index is going to build more cars to get down to the low of September 8th. We break that, you're, on, you're off to the races to 88. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials are down 92. You get the NASDAQ off 11. S&Ps are down 6. Let's just go look at the E-minis as we're uh, coming uh, into the last uh, 40 minutes of trading out here. So E-minis out here really have been flat all day. You're down 6 bucks right now. It looks like they're going to go after the 2577 level. And it'll be interesting because if it does break the 2577 level, uh, you can be down at the 73 pretty quickly. Not that that's a lot, but guess what? That's 12... Uh, handles instead of six so it'd be interesting uh how we get into that uh area in the next few minutes if we take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the dow industrials out here what you have is this strength numbers wise out here go you have um walmart taking 16 putting 16 negative points in mcdonald's putting 10 boeing putting nine united technologies putting nine uh, the winners out here, Nike is putting 12 positive points in, Verizon's putting four, 3M is putting one. Inside the NDX 100, strength versus the weakness, strength out here inside the NDX 100 is net tees, that's up 12.6%. You have Viacom up 10%, Ross Stores is up 9.5%, Fox is up 5.9%. Everyone wants Fox's assets, folks, that's what's going on. Um, not their, not the news. They want the, they want the film assets. That's what they're looking for. The losers out here uh, in, inside the NDX 100. You have a pace car down 4.3 percent. KLA uh, Clack is uh, KLA 10 core is down 2.9 percent. You have Cognizant Technology down 2.9, and you got AMAT down 2.7. Some of the higher volume stocks out here in this market today. Uh, GE is flat. You have. Uh, Square. Square is up $2. Square has been on, on a, a big run. It was up $4 earlier. More than likely what that has to do with is that uh, you're going to be able to, well, certain clients at the beginning are going to be able to buy Bitcoin on the Square platform. Uh, you have a Foot Locker. That is a monster. That's up $9, uh, $40.94. It looks like what we are going to have is a few of these retailers are going to be uh, left uh, standing. And it looks like it's the last man standing in a few of them, and uh, they, they're kicking in some uh, some sales. Apple, Apple is down a buck. You have the gap up two dollars and fifteen cents. William Sonoma is down seven dollars and forty three cents. If we go over to William Sonoma for a second, let's take a look at William Sonoma. Uh, this this had a, a low this year of forty two dollars, a high of fifty six dollars. Uh, this is down. This is down with big volume. No two ways about that. And this, this stock has been in trouble for a long time. 
Um, this is another retail. It's down off its highs of $89. You cut in half. This thing, it looks like it's going to be a monster ABC structure on the way down. Your A point on this is 89. Your B is uh, 47. So you're talking about big numbers. Uh, you break, this thing can get into, next leg is about uh, $35. And you, you can see um, why, I, I love the store, the bottom line, it's a great store, but guess what? Those expensive um, appliances that you're buying, guess what? Go on Amazon, get them in about a second, and you get them for a lot cheaper. We go into Amazon. Uh, Amazon right now is still trading at highs. You're 1127. Walmart. Uh, Walmart came up with those numbers yesterday. Uh, with the Walmart had inside it is at the 50% the increase in their internet sales. That that by itself is a monster number. No two ways about that. And when that baby broke topside, you know it has the force. Whether you put it on a weekly, a monthly, a daily, uh, that thing looks like it wants to go to about a buck twenty. That's how this is uh, shaking out. And what's intriguing about Walmart is that Walmart was in a consolidation from 1999 going all the way over to 2012. It goes topside, comes back and tests the top of the consolidation, then takes off again. Pretty amazing, no doubt about that. Let's go take a look at uh, the copper market for one of our tigers out here. We got uh, copper trading up six tenths of one percent. You're at 309 right now. It's a nice setup. Okay, so we have, uh, I'm looking at the uh, March contract right now. You're at 309. You've done 25,000 contracts. Yeah, this wants to go for the high, and it very well could be an ABC structure on the way up. The high we're talking about is 327.90. Let me put this on a continuous contract for a second. Okay, so we bring this on a continuous contract. We'll bring it back a couple years. We can bring it back more than that. Let's bring it back some months. Okay, ah, interesting. Okay, so this is good. Okay, so where copper is right now, you know, you're talking the 308 area is a heavy area to get through. And with, it, with 308 is, folks, this goes all the way back to 2011. 2011, copper went from 418 a pound the 308 a pound in one month then it traded at that level from September of 2011 over to January of 2014 so it that's going to build more cars to get through that I, I just don't see it ripping right through that just you know we've only been up here for three months now that thing probably needs seven eight nine year and a half in order to break top side into that. So, because that, that is a very large downdraft with a huge consolidation uh, right in the middle of that. Let's go and take a look at the um, platinum market. Now, the platinum hasn't been moving anywhere, folks. Finally got a bid, uh, got a good bid, too. You know, platinum was up $17 today. And uh, let me see, PLZ7. Yeah, you, this, that's, you get the wide price spread, you get the volume, 941. That's saying platinum's going to make a run for the 1000 bucks again. And you get, it, you get a couple different things happening with platinum, of course. You have the aspect that it is a much harder metal to mine than gold. More valuable. Well, it's questionable. It's not, it hasn't been more valuable than gold for about three years. Uh, bottom line, though. Uh, gold is 300 bucks ahead of it at this point, and I, what I expect you're going to see is you're going to see that spread starting to tighten. Uh, and that very well also could have to do with a Zimbabwe, because Zimbabwe uh, is a metal miner, and they do have platinum. And we'll see how that whole thing shakes out in Zimbabwe. We go over to the XAU, the HUI. XAU out here trading up a buck. Uh, you're at 80.91. Now, the X, this is going to need more juice uh, Monday and Tuesday. 8104, you want to get inside. That's the number. We're at 8091. Gold bugs index. Let's take a look at the gold bugs index. Gold bugs index. Ah, this is good. Gold bugs index is inside the range. Gold bugs index had to get inside 184.86. It did it. You're at 188.20. Oh, this is a nice setup, man. Okay, this is a rejection of lower price on the weekly. You can have lighter volume. That says now we get the shot to basically get up to the higher swing point, which also is September 8th. 
September 8th inside the Gold Bugs Index is 220.22. The XLF, what do we got with the XLF inside the financials out here? Financials are flat, uh, 32 uh, million shares traded. We put this on a weekly, and that very well could be doing an ABC structure down. Uh, you made a high three weeks ago with 222 million. You come down with 307 million. You go back top side with 255. That's probably going to make a run for 25.59. The XLE, let's go take a look at the XLE, the energy sector. XLE right now trading 67.42. That's up 31 cents. Yeah, that high from last week is going to get tested. That's a high volume high at 70.47. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. 877-927-6648. Right back, folks. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC-insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Dow Industrials right now are up 87. You get the NASDAQ up 8. S&Ps are up 6.5. Gold up uh, $17.10, trading 1295. We have silver up 21 cents, $17.28. Cents. Uh, notes and bonds, you get the 10-year uh, note right now, uh, trading up 4 ticks, 124.31. Uh, the 30 year up 13, 153.30. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Dave White, as we do each and every Friday at uh, 3.30 to 4 o'clock for our technology update. And don't forget, folks, 
Dave has a great show every trading day right here, 2 to 3 Eastern Standard Time. Also has uh, a couple great newsletters. He's, he has the, the Path of Least Resistance. That is his daily newsletter. You can get that daily newsletter by coming over to TFNN. Uh, you just hit newsletters, trading newsletters, and he also has the, um, the Tech Insider. The Tech Insider is uh, his weekly newsletter. You can you go to TFNN, you hit newsletters, you hit investments newsletters, and as you're over there, uh, bottom line, uh, check out the Tiger Dollar Sale. This is the, uh, I don't know, this may be about the sixth or seventh year we did the Salvation Army Tiger Dollar Sale. And what happens with that, folks, is that uh, everyone gets a $25 bonus, a 25% bonus. You buy $1,000 worth of Tiger Dollars, you end up with $1,250. Uh, and anything over $1,000, we give a 10% donation in your name to the Salvation Army. They actually send you the tax uh, receipt so that you can write that off on your taxes. Dave White, what's going on? Well, uh, the only thing I can see that's a little negative today and even a little scary is the AMAT reversal. I don't know if you have a chart up on AMAT, but kind of look at that candle today for earnings. Look pretty Let's good look. to start off with. Wow. Holy cow. That and is a monster. That. Yeah. You, so and, we started and, we started at $60.89. You're at 56 right now. Yeah, that's pretty intense, man. And then, and then if you look at CLAC, you kind of have the same thing. So yeah, got the, it, the, those are ones bear a little. Uh, if you're in the SMHs or something, you probably want to be watching Monday how those things open. If there's any continuation out there, today's of course uh, opera, uh, uh, options expiration. So maybe yes. a little funny business going on, but uh, Monday they're in, and uh, so you probably want to keep a close eye on those as they had been going up kind of high. But the, yeah, well, you know what's interesting else? is that is that clack. You know, as basically, that's just testing a downdraft from a long, from, uh, let's see, from six months ago. But AMAT was a beautiful shot. I mean, right, the yeah. is like, but you I mean, know, you can see. Both, both, yeah. both of them making pretty nasty candles today. Oh, yeah. Is my yeah, point. No, but, yeah, no doubt. I always liked when there was click and clack. I Listen, yeah. man, we traded them all. I know what you're saying. <laughs> and no then more, what? Uh, no yeah, more yeah. click, though. No, no more click. Who anyway, bought click? Thing, Do you remember? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the first thing I want to bring up today is uh, Apple iPhone 10s, and we talked about the production uh, problems that they have. We've got okay. a little bit more definition on them. Foxconn profits fell $700 million last quarter, a 39% uh, decline from last year when it pulled, uh, uh, when it was building products. And of course, half of its business is uh, from Apple. So wow. if we're looking for any kind of signal out here about how uh, bad this is, this is the worst drop they've had since 2007 and 8. Yeah, so, and it's, you know, the headlines out here today is Apple um, is not going to be able to uh, get its uh, HomePod, uh, HomePod smart speaker out for the, the holiday season. They're delaying what? it until next year. Well, I think they've got a, a kind of a big problem that a lot of people don't think about either, and that is that the only reason the Alexa works so good from uh, from uh, Amazon uh, Amazon was that Microsoft had spent about three and a half billion dollars on developing uh, audio uh, translation software. Okay. And basically, the Cortana that's in Windows is the same thing that runs Alexa. They okay. basically are doing that as a service for Amazon. So where does Apple go to get that almost 10 years that Microsoft put in to developing probably the best uh, uh, voice to uh, text translation software that there is? Right, so, right. You know, there's, that, it's not an easy thing to make up 10 years worth of development. No, no. And three no. and a half billion dollars worth to put into it. So, yeah, I saw that. It didn't seem to ma uh, affect the price too much. I suspect no, that, it maybe, didn't. Right. That, that everybody says, well, it's all about the iPhone 10. Of course, when you look at Best Buy down this week, when they were basically trying to not irritate Apple with as few uh, iPhone 10s that they were getting, basically, if you read between the lines, they're basically saying, we're not going to get enough iPhone 10s to make our, to make, you know, a, a huge dent in their iPhone store inside Best Buy is 
like 30% of their profit. So that's going to be really tough for them to get past that all the way through the end of this year. So this is going to kind of come on for the ripple effect kind of moves Apple so big that the ripple effect does kind of go through all of these folks. Oh, yeah. You got, let's, uh, we just look at uh, SWKS right now. I know that was down pretty good yesterday. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's interesting. There's still highs, but I know what you're saying, man. It's like, you know, you, you're at highs, but guess what, folks? You know, as particularly in the NASDAQ, what has always blown my mind in the NASDAQ is that it can be at such highs, and then when a correction starts, oh, my God. I mean, they just throw everything out. You know, it's, they, it, that just is so fast and furious, folks, when, when that's going south. It's unbelievable, you know. We're, we're probably not going to get a lot of uh, talk from Apple about their sales numbers. But we probably will from the semiconductors if they have to warn early or something else. That will probably be next year. It probably won't be this year. But I could see the first couple of years, uh, first couple of, of weeks of January being some pre-announcements to the downside if production doesn't get a little bit higher on a lot of those companies like uh, Skyworks and Avago and some of the others out there. Sure, right. The other big news out here today in... Uh, and gaming, uh, Electronic Arts has got a small civil war going on. Uh, they have a new product uh, out. Uh, almost all these guys, it's almost the same thing as movies. They get a franchise out there and they beat it to death year after year with a new version. Of course, yes. the new one is is uh, a Star Wars Battlefront 2. But uh, there's a there's some tech, uh, there's a thing called a loot box system um, that means that it becomes fairly difficult to play the game unless you spend additional money. Okay. And uh, the big complaint is that you can't unlock uh, Darth Vader until you play the game for about 40 hours or you cough up some money. But if you're playing against other people, this puts you at a severe disadvantage until you get back up to the level. So the whole thing is you bought this game and you're probably, unless you throw a lot more money at it, you're at a severe disadvantage to the other people that you're playing on. Uh, and previously, the designs weren't kind of that bad. They were annoying, but not horrible. Uh, but we've got a, a full-size revolt uh, in the Star Wars wars uh, on this game. Not only that, but a lot of people say the game is pretty horrible. We're kind of used to having movies come out that don't do well. But uh, this is kind of big because when you spend, you know, a lot of money to get the franchise like Electronic Arts does, and then a couple hundred million dollars to develop a game, it can be a huge, big loss. You stay right there, folks. Dave and I come right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great 
long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Dave White, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and following with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 78. You get the NASDAQ off 8. S&Ps are off 5.5. Percentage-wise out here, Dow's down three-tenths of one percent, S&P's two-tenths, and the NASDAQ one-tenth. You know, it's wild, Dave. Uh, Tommy and I were talking about this this morning, but with such large numbers, you know, you can be down 78 in the Dow and big deal, right? I mean, percentage-wise. Yeah, I, I was looking at something that showed that, uh, like, five years ago in the Dow, a 500-point move is really the equivalent of a 900-point move now. Something well, like that. I'd have to go yeah. back and look at the numbers, but it was something like I remember it was like 500 to 900 to, right. to actually be the same. Maybe it sure. was 2010 or something. But yeah, the, the scale tends well, every, to move a yeah, great deal. Every percent is 230 bucks. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I was going to say that uh, Electronic Arts probably the not the only one that's going to be weak. A lot of these guys missed some of the bigger games. In that gaming system. So if you are thinking short, these may be one of the ones that uh, has a uh, kind of a weaker Christmas than a lot of people thought for a variety of reasons. And this one, it's self-inflicted wounds from electronic arts. But Activision also uh, looks like it's going to be a little light and really didn't get the products out they needed. So gaming may be a uh, kind of a, a weak spot also for this Christmas. That'll be interesting, too, because, you know, I guess I remember a few years ago, uh, before 2011, maybe, yeah, before 2011, gaming, you know, got hit, and that they were saying, okay, that's because of the social media, and then, you know, since 2011, game has gone topside beyond belief, so, yeah. Well, I think the, the GameStop, what is it, GME, I think that's the symbol for it, probably the last year for GameStop. I, I, it seems to be very tough for me to come up with a scenario that those guys make it another year. Uh, they had a deal where they were going to go to use games, and they already had lawsuits uh, all over them from the game manufacturers, and that didn't last seven days of the last week. So that one yes, continues, continues to be digital delivery for most video games. Yes. This means that you really don't need to go to the store and pick up the the uh, thing. They've got cards that you just pick up at Walmart now, and you put in the number and download stuff. So it's really not even a, a box anymore that you get for the, for the most part. So anyway, eh, just kind of interesting, but I think it's going to be soft. I wanted to talk about Tesla's uh, new vehicles last night. Maybe some yeah, of the things yeah. people really haven't talked about that I think are important. They kind of beat a lot of the the big notes uh, to death, but there's some of the other stuff that I thought was very interesting today. Um, that is, the, the when they're selling this truck, they said they're going to give it a million mile uh, warranty. Yes, yes, on it, which is kind of interesting. But I brought this up in the cars before, and that is 
if you've got, and the design, I guess, is the same on this uh, truck. If you've got a motor, electric motor on every wheel that drives the truck, or in the case of the car, there's no real transmission. And Allison transmission, AS, or excuse me, ALSN, uh, uh, where I got it right down, it's down 6% today. And the thought is that wow, eventually wow, yeah, everybody's yeah. going to be going to um, uh, electrically driven vehicles eventually, right? So they kind of got hit today because this, I guess, is a kind of a big wake up call that electrically div uh, driven vehicles save a lot of money because transmissions are a tough thing to get right uh, and very expensive to do. And you basically eliminate transmissions when you go to electric vehicles. So uh, from snapping, you probably never did it. <laughs> if you built your engine up uh, in a car uh, big enough you probably and didn't get a bigger axle, you probably snapped the axle at one point. Well, there okay. are no more axles. So there's no more transmission. There's a lot of parts just kind of go away. So I was looking at that million, uh, uh, million mile warranty, and it's probably not too far from something easily done. But also a lot of these dealers that have uh, repaired things like uh, engines and transmissions and brake systems, um, even the brake systems of uh, the, these new trucks, you use the motors to generate electricity as you're slowing down to kind of recharge the batteries. Okay. So you get that back. That means that you're really not stomping on the brakes a great deal. You're really just kind of letting off on the gas a little to slow down, and that automatically starts pulling off power. But that also means that the muffler uh, guy on the corner, uh, the guy that does the brakes, the guy that changes the oil in your engine. Yeah, um, it's wild, There's a man. lot of maintenance and then actual repair that's probably going to be slowly going away in this business. It's a much better way of doing it, especially in large scales. Uh, well, you can see that, you know, that when, they, when he came down with that announcement about, you know, one thing you get the car, but that when you get the semi-truck trailers, bottom line is that, you know, the inside that PR, well, guess what? Walmart is the biggest user of semi semis and they're already ordering. So, right. <laughs> to me, to me, I don't think I, if I was him, I don't think I would have gone to that. I would have thought that the business for UPS trucks and mail trucks and everything else is a little closer to what they do already. And I would think that maybe, you know, especially uh, where you only drive in town and you drive smaller distances would probably been an easier mark for them to hit. It's not too far from what they're doing now. Building really big trucks seems kind of a, uh, I guess maybe I just hear the voice of my boss going, going, enough with a shotgun, get me a rifle. I don't want, you know, to hit everything on the side of the barn. I want kind of to uh, focused things. And to me, you know, you're going from a very small car to a very large uh, truck. Just as a business model, it may have made more sense to get into the midsize uh, truck and delivery van that, you know, Amazon's I buying just, by I, the I, tens of thousands. Yeah. But I suspect what he did is go to Walmart first and say, give me an order. Walmart's the yeah. biggest user of trucks in the whole United States. So well, it's like, well, that you go goes, to them, you get the order, and say, okay, we're off to the races, man. Well, I can imagine that since he's a real Silicon Valley guy, the whole thing is about disruption. And Allison and Cummings and uh, all the other big guys, they've been around for a while. They don't change much or very quickly. These are the old industrial giants. So he may have thought that that's an easier target than trying to get to uh, maybe others out there like General Motors. And maybe those guys are going to be the guys making the new uh, mail trucks and the new small delivery vehicles that are all electric. Yeah, because look, look at Cummins. Cummins is down eight bucks. That's, yeah, uh, that's, I mean, they both ABC got down. Yep. The, the realization is these guys are going to have to start acting a lot more disruptively instead of just standing there and taking orders every year for the trucks. Um, kind of interesting claims that he made for it. Who knows if they're real or not. Um, you always have to kind of take a little bit of what he says uh, as a uh, 
with a little bit of salt. The idea of uh, driving your vehicle from the center. I don't know if you, do you think you'd buy a car that you drove in the center instead on the left or the right uh, side of the car? We'll talk about that when we come back. Again. Yeah, that would be pretty tough, I think. <laughs> you stay right there, folks. Dave and I are coming right back. Dow is down 88. NASDAQ is down 8. S&Ps are off 6. Gold's up 1720. Coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Basil Chapman has just announced a special subscriber event taking place Monday, November 20th from 5 till 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. What can you anticipate for 2018? In this 90-minute webinar for subscribers to Basil's daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, he will be discussing a variety of topics for the coming year, including can high techs continue to lead? Will the financials be affected by yields? And where will yields be in 2018? The chances for inflation or deflation? What stocks could be affected or weakened in the coming year? As well as Basil's long-term outlook for the dollar and gold, as well as many other topics. For all the details and to sign up for a 30-day free trial to the opening call, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. With nothing to risk, this is a great time to try out Basil's daily trading newsletter. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget. You can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dave White, Tom O'Brien. We have the, nine, the uh, Dow down 90, NASDAQ's off 10. S&Ps are off six. You get option expiration happening. Don't forget, uh, over the weekend, folks, as you uh, come over to TFNN, we have the target all sale going on. That's the quickest way to make 25% on your money. Check it out on the front page of TFNN. So, um, Tesla, we're driving in the middle. What's that all about? Well, the semi is actually only drivable from the center of the vehicle. If you look at it, it's got, got a, a wraparound uh, windshield. Okay. And like the windshield, even it's bulletproof for some reason, and I'm not exactly sure why. But uh, they've been working on some kind of new glass, I think, for their cars too, and they just decided to show it off. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. But well, I can see that for a professional driver. Do you know what I mean? Because when I read yeah. I, and and the the, the what the, the the it's smaller also, so meaning it's closer to the ground, so it doesn't supposed to be able to jackknife as easy, right? Yeah, the whole thing kind of looks like a NASCAR with with uh, skirts around the entire thing that okay, looked like cool. if they ran over a squirrel that there'd be a problem so yeah. uh, you know 
that would be great if there's nothing out there on the road. But uh, the the thing I saw was they skirted the real wheels of the, the uh, semi uh, truck. And I can think of how many times I've been going down the road when a tire blew in a uh, semi. And, you know, it would be like the NASCAR thing. It'd tear the side of the car out. And it does yeah. the same thing. So I know that that's not what they're going to be shipping. Right. I mean, it looks cool, and it probably makes uh, for very nice uh, mileage on the road. In reality, a lot of that stuff has to be changed and prototyped and, and that and, kind of and, stuff. And what does happen, um, this is his financial, you know, I mean, his finance model. I mean, the bottom line is he's going to get lots of deposits, which we know that he needs huge amounts of cash because he's burning so much cash. And that's another way of getting cash, you know, without yeah, paying question. interest. Yeah, I got a quick question. It says, why don't why do they drive race cars from the middle? They all go in the same direction on a racetrack. <laughs> You're not going in a wow. different direction. Dave, thanks <laughs> so much, man. Ha have a great one. Have a safe one. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows and whatever you want in life. Picture it, visualize it, step in or take ownership of it. Have a great weekend, safe weekend, folks. Look for a speaker right back here, Monday morning, 10 o'clock. Taking something that's good for you.